But what is up y'all, Rich Homie Carrie back again with another banger video. I just want to thank everybody for watching and subscribing and supporting. Make sure y'all smash that like button if y'all haven't already. But today we are going to install probably the most important mod that you have to do to your car, especially for these Dodge Charger Scat Packs and Hellcats, even the RTs, these high performance V8s definitely need this mod. And what it is, it's an oil catch can. This is the mod to make your car last hundreds and thousands of miles. So for today's video, we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the oil catch can that I got and a quick installation of it so you guys can install it. And I'm gonna do like a six month and a one year update after I install the catch can and just to see you know, all the oil that I catch. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so for those that don't know what an oil catch can is or what it does, it's a little device that you put in between your crankcase and your intake manifold. Usually there is a little hose that runs from the top of the crankcase to the manifold. And once pressure builds up uh, in the engine from running, um, it just creates this like blow by of oil and contaminants that run from the top of the crankcase to the intake manifold because you know there's too much pressure inside the engine. So it just like you know blows that oil in there and you know all that oil and contaminant um, they call it oil blow by so all that blow by and contaminant can build up in the intake manifold which is not you know great because you know once that you know builds up over time you're gonna see you know less performance and you know gas mileage uh, decrease a little bit and you know all that contaminant can just go right back into your engine so you don't want that oil or blow by to go you know from the crankcase all the way back into your engine that's why you add a little catch can to filter out the oil catch all the contaminants so that's my current understanding of it if i am incorrect please definitely correct me in the comments below so that's what i've known so far and you know i took a qu quick look at google just to you know confirm but if i'm wrong definitely comment below so without me rambling on and on what an oil catch can does and all the benefits you can just google google it or there's a whole bunch of youtube videos but let's get into me unboxing um, the oil catch can and I'm gonna tell you what brand I got and then we're gonna install it on the car It's gonna be a quick install and then um, Yeah, we'll go on from there. So let's get into it All right, so going to start the unboxing this oil catch can is from UPR Which is a brand that's synonymous with a lot of you know modifications on Mustangs I've heard but you know there's other brands out there like billets technologies JTL um, but I went with this UPR catch can because one it was probably one of the cheaper Versions that's high quality. So this was about 140 after shipping So not too bad of a price or investment to you know Increase the longevity of your engine, especially if you want to keep it for a long time So you got a nice uh, UPR sticker here. So shout out to them. You also get, you know, some information about the can, how to tighten it up, how to operate it, the flow direction. And then of course you have some installation steps. This is pretty easy. You're just gonna need, I think one or two tools um, and that's about it. And then here is one of the hose lines. It's actually made by Continental, and this is like nice and high quality. And yeah, it's like a braided uh, nylon material, so definitely great. And these, you get two hoses, so one from goes from your crankcase to the can, and one from the can to the intake manifold. And then you get your actual hose ends uh, here. 
and then you get your hose adapters so basically you're going to be taking out the hose from your crankcase um, and you're going to be putting this adapter in and then you know one of the hoses and then here's actually one of the you know bolts you're going to be you know bolting in hand and here is the main attraction so they definitely packaged it really nice so really happy about that it's pretty sturdy too okay cool so they added you know more protection with this like bubble wrap so pretty happy with that man this is sturdy this is sturdy this definitely weighs you know how i think an oil cash can should weigh but yeah looks very nice very high quality and this looks exactly like the billet technologies one except a hundred dollars cheaper and then here you have your z bracket so basically pretend the engine blocks here there's already a mount or a screw hole or mounting hole you just you know mount the bolt there and then you know you have your hoses one going from the crankcase to here and then flows out into the intake manifold and then this is the actual catch can part yeah it looks nice and then here is the filter so it actually filters out all the contaminants here while letting the nice clean oil come back yeah quick little unboxing for y'all i'm gonna go ahead and install in the car but definitely like i said great investment for your car to keep the longevity of you know your car running right for hundreds and thousands of miles and i would say if you plan on keeping your, your car for a while i would recommend getting an oil catch can all right so we're gonna go ahead and install it a couple prerequisites that i would recommend before installing of course make sure the engine is cool to the touch if you are just done driving i would not recommend it because you're going to be interacting with this and you know the actual engine so it's going to be hot and you probably may burn yourself um just one you know food for thought and a couple tools you will need this is definitely a lifesaver this like panel removal tool because you're going to go ahead and remove this this is where you'll actually mount the oil catch can and then they'll hand you a like eight or 10 millimeter bolts depending on the kit or the brand so you can mount it in here. So you'll need this as well. You need a flathead screwdriver just so you can get this hose off pretty easily. And some garden shears because a hose um, they provide in these kits are you know pretty long and you don't want no floppy hoses. So you want them looking nice and correct. So I would definitely recommend getting some nice shears to you know cut the hoses to your liking and of course you need your kit with everything so you can go ahead and install it so let's get into it right, so these what the hoses look like like i showed you i'm going to install them essentially looking like this because i don't want the black or I don't, I don't want the lettering to show up that kind of looks a little weird so i just want them to be you know, all black and stealthy like so first i'm just gonna go ahead and probably take this um pvc hose off and all you gotta do is just go up in here it'll be easy so i got the Hose off, you see a little bit of oil. So I'm just gonna leave this. Make sure you just put this in the trunk or something just in case. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off so I can mount the catch can. Bang, you see? You see how easy that was? I just took this off in like two seconds. If I were to use this flathead screwdriver, it'll take me like five or 10 minutes. So this is definitely a time saver all right so here's the bolt i'm just going to mount the catch can got the catch can all mounted i'm going to go ahead and install the the hose ends here
make sure you do like a little test fitting to see how much you want to cut off. I'm just gonna put the hose, hose in, just go all the way in. And here I can measure how much I want to cut off. I don't want it to be like too floppy like this. So I think this, I'm gonna cut off a nice chunk of it. See how this looks. I cut this a little bit too short, but it was all right. I was able to move this over a little bit. So I think this is nice and good. I didn't have to cut off too much of this, but for, but for the longer hose, I had to cut off about like an inch and a half. Yeah, hey, you pretty quick install. Took about five minutes. Yeah, make sure I can twist this off. But yeah, I mean, I haven't used this yet. But that's that's what it's gonna look like and I'm gonna go into have to you know empty that um, between every oil change but I'm just gonna do you know I'm just gonna check on it you know every week just to see um, if at least you know the oil is getting into the catch can and not just getting like stuck somewhere here but so far it looks so good and I actually use a 12 millimeter instead of a 10 yeah y'all and then all you gotta do is just start up the car to make sure everything is kosher and then you should be good and that's it all right y'all finally got the catch can installed it's hot as hell out here so i'm sweating but finally got the catch can installed i did cut this a little bit shorter than i wanted to but um it is what it is i mean the hose is not like um under any too much tension or anything like that so i think it should be good and yeah and another you know tip of advice you know don't over tighten this you know all the o-rings are gonna get messed up especially with the heat and all that but yeah i'm gonna check this you know every couple hundred miles just to see um how it's operating and if it's at least you know catching the oil and yeah i'll give you any updates for any problems but i think we should be good but this is a super easy install to make your vehicle last longer and of course running at its healthiest so yeah y'all thank you for watching appreciate everybody this is rich homie cow signing out